Today I'm going to be disabling OnStar. I have a 2007 Chevy Silverado here, and a while back I had taken it into a, into the dealership to see if they could disable the OnStar. They told me that there was no way it could be done. It, it couldn't be done. I found out recently though that it actually could be done. And so today I'm going to disable it. Um, do a demonstration and a run through. For anyone out there, those of you that may be privacy minded or are worried about mass surveillance or corporations selling off your data, um, I'm going to do that. So I'll take you through the run through. Okay, the uh, OnStar box that you need to access and able to uh, disable your OnStar services just in this front panel right here. Um, and to get to it, I just take a flathead screwdriver and you want to pop this plastic panel out and it just kind of snaps in and out Let's see if I can get it there's part of it want to be careful not to break it and then that pulls back right there like that all right and the next step to get to it is you have to remove uh, your radio and the temperature control panel just with a seven millimeter socket and you've got some screws that just come out Get them all right here. Okay, and then these just pop out like right, like that. And the box will be back under these two. And it looks like there's some hardware on top of that that has to come out too. I'm just going to get at these. The 90 degree. will allow this to come out. Getting those two. Okay, and then there's some plugs in the back of here. I can't really show it. Um, but you just want to unplug those to get it to slip out and get them out. Purple and a blue one. Okay, and then to 
the next step to get this out is it's got some torque screws in there and it's a T15 uh, Torx head that will take these out. Okay, and then you just take this panel, once you get the screws out, you just take this panel off right here. It's aluminum panel. And then there will be a circuit board right here. And I believe you can just pry that up, get it out of the way. Let's see. Yeah. So that just pries up out of the way, right there. And then this is what you want to do right here. So you can take the you can take the aluminum panel out, or you can take this box out right now, the spy box out, and it will. Uh, you'll get a check engine code if it's not attached. But what you can do to disable the OnStar without uh, alarming out or setting off the check engine light is just take this connector, these connecting pins out right here. Um, so this connector pin right here, you just pull that out and uh, set that to the side. And then you can start putting it back together and just make sure all the cables and the cords get in the same spot. And uh, it should be good after that. You won't have the OnStar activated. so. Like your emergency services won't work though, just be aware. Uh, this, it's like got a cellular device on there and just OnStar is disabled. We'll have to rely on your cell phone or whatever else. So, it just goes back together how it came apart in the reverse. Since that's all put together, you can just take the uh, front cover, and that just snaps back into place. And just like that. And 
So OnStar's uh disabled. And we can start it up here and I'll show you no check engine light is on. no check engine lights on so that's good okay we'll try to dial this up now hello and welcome to OnStar for a demonstration of OnStar services or to contact an OnStar advisor please press the blue OnStar button again for complete connecting to OnStar It's just gonna sit here and dial up and it won't go through. I'm sorry, your phone is not available at this time. Please try again later. See, it's just deactivated right there. The OnStar system is not active. But another precaution you can take is to, uh, you can turn this off by just uh, there's a plug in the back you can just power that and then also it looks like there's another there's another cord behind here too and that can be disconnected as well and then there's no power so it can't turn that on at all just remove that connecting pin right there and that's uh and then just put it back together how it came out and uh you can Take back your privacy.